file maintenance is so important in any data processing system that we will talk about it in some detail. But first, let's take a look at the big picture. The very first input to any data processing system is some kind of source document, such as a change of address notice, or an employee timesheet. The source document is used to key punch transaction cards. Often these cards are key verified to make sure they've been punched correctly. Even so, many errors manage to creep in. To catch these errors, we must read the cards one by one into the computer and check them for validity. This includes checking proper codes for no alphabetic data in numeric fields, consistency, reasonableness, and so forth. When an error is detected by the validity check program, that card is not written on tape. Instead, it must be returned, corrected, and re-entered into the system. Error messages can also be printed at this time. When all of the transaction cards have been checked, record counts can be printed. Let's review. Cards are key punched and key verified to produce a deck of transaction cards. These cards are read into the computer one at a time and checked for validity. The good cards are written on tape. And error cards are sent back to be repunched. At the end, messages and error counts are printed. Because we're dealing with a sequential file, the good transactions must be sorted into the same sequence as the master file. For example, if our transactions are employee time cards, we might sort them into employee number sequence. When the sort is complete, it produces messages and counts, which must be manually inspected and compared to the validity check run to be sure that nothing has gone wrong. After they're sorted, the good transactions must be read again and processed against the old master file. To create a new master file. This step is called file maintenance. Again, messages and counts which are printed must be inspected. This time they must be checked against the sort run counts. Often during file maintenance, records are collected on one or several files. For later input to a report preparation program. Additionally, other special files will be needed to provide more information to produce certain reports. Again, counts are kept for manual inspection. These are the typical steps involved in sequential processing of commercial files. They are, of course, highly simplified, and an actual application may involve many more programs, but the basic steps are these. Key punch and key verify transaction cards.
Check for validity. Return error cards for corrections. Good transactions are sorted into the same sequence as the old master file. and process to produce a new master file and report files which together with other files are processed to print required reports. Record counts are kept by each program and inspected at each step. This is basic file maintenance. Let's watch the sequence once more. 